fan. I hope you're all well. Today I'm going to show you how to hunt Sturman. Now, Sturman's one of the easiest bosses to kill with an aggressive play style. If you try and out-snipe him though, he's got one of the most cracked AI on range. You're going to be looking at your lobby instead of your scope. He'll pump you so hard. So, I'm going to show you the points where he actually spawns. Places of interest to keep a lookout for once he actually rotates from his spawn. Um, sound cues and obviously just a general play style of how to fight it. This isn't going to be a pathing video. Every time he spawns in different spots, it's a totally different routing. It's a totally different way of fighting. I'm just going to show you particular spots where you can utilize to kill him easier and his guards. Let's get in this video. Now, when it comes to kit of choice, I don't like to use sniper rifles. Only reason being is that he's got two guards with armor, tier four and tier three, that will uh, push you. So if you're using a sniper rifle and you get caught out, you're going to die straight away. You're going to miss your chance of hunting Sturman. What I prefer is something that's semi-automatic. Something that's going to punch hard at close range, but also that I can engage medium to long range uh, for the snipes and stuff like that. So RFB has been my pick. It's accessible on the fleet. It's cheap to build. It's cheap to use. The ammo use is obviously it's a broad range. You can you can get the shitty ammo. You can get M80. You can get M62, M61, whatever you prefer. Now after your main gun, to make sure you have grenades or flashbangs. Only reason why you want to run them is because Sturman sits in bushes, he's going to be hidden somewhere. If you try and body check and run out in the open trying to get a bait, you're probably just going to get one tapped instead. So instead of using your body, throw the nade, get the voice line and hunt him that way. A lot easier. Now if you're going to do the fishing trip quest, this is with the M700 with the Marsh tactical scope, definitely go for it, but I wouldn't use it as a primary weapon. You're going to run into PMCs, you're going to run into something else that you won't really be able to fight it with. Um, it's best to utilize that in conjunction with your primary weapon instead. Or ensure it, if you don't hear the SVD cracks at the start, then ditch it. Now with night vision, if you're going to do some nighttime runs, I like to utilize a FLIR in conjunction with quad nods you can use any mvgs the flur is obviously for spotting and then you can swap it over to the m700 to do the final tap off shot really really good combo to use nighttime stormy hunting it's actually one of the easiest ways to do it you can do it with test drive as well if you want to stack your quest together but really good options so first off the rank is gray log spawn now this is one of his most common spawn areas where you will generally find him floating about here he can also spawn the mid green island and can also rotate down to the bottom of the map near the carriages. His team will push a pretty aggro here and around the violet shack, so just watch out. Now next up is Silver or Grey Tom. He usually sits inside at the front entry or behind the cars at the front. Top Red is next, where you can actually roam the front area, or you can sit in the middle between the actual log piles themselves. Now, this is one of the more riskier ways to fight him because it's so open. Next to red is a log pile, which is his second most common spawn. You can attack this position from any angle. However, there's a really good peak spot at the top of Violet Shack logs, which you can actually check off this area before pushing into him. The only thing is you cannot shoot between the actual log pile themselves, so it's just a visual check off. He can also sit behind grey top or rotate around the side of it from the front. He can also rotate internally as well, so just care that. Sometimes he will crouch behind the wooden pile on the right side and watch that spot too. Sturman also has a few spawns around the cabins. The wood pile next to the truck, the log piles above it, and also in the middle of the cabins. Now, if you do spawn on medcamp side and catch their aggro when they spawn here, they can sometimes rush you, in which case you just sit back and pick up the freebies. Another position north of Sawmill is Top Logs, where you can float in the middle next to the car or even in the bushes behind Top Logs and towards Dickhead Rock. This is a really easy spot to engage him from for long ranges for the M700 quest because of the distance. A rare position, however, he can be there is the back of Grey Top Bushes, closer towards Checkpoint Road. It will bush bash anyone who comes through here, so just be careful of the spot. Next up is Small Red, which is adjacent the carriages. He usually runs this part of the map and will rotate towards the middle or Violet Shack area if engaged upon. Now, a great jump up spot to get maximum visibility of Sawmill is a jump right of Sniper Rocks. This will give you the visibility of his major spawn points around Grey Top, Top Logs, and Big Red Logs. This is one of the better positions to be engaging hunting trip quest at with the M700 March Tactical Scope. 
make sure you bring a rangefinder. The distance from this hill down to the actual ground is about 250 meters. So side in accordingly and get the win. Now from this position, you can definitely use a Fleur or a Reaper at this distance as the sighting range is 250 meters and the max range of both scopes is 300. However, you will not be able to see all of Sturman's spawn points, only his major ones around grey top and middle logs. Using the March tactical scope at night is a no-go from this position as well. The shadows are way too dark, you will not actually be able to see anything with nods on or nods off. So it's best to use it on the ground at a closer range. Now, once you do make it down to ground level, use the Fleur to spot and swap to the M700 for the final blow. This works both day and night. However, you hold the advantage during the night due to the vision reduction of the guards and the boss. The Fleur also makes it easy to spot him when he's hiding in the bush, so thus saving yourself a grenade or potentially getting bush bashed if you weren't running any thermals. So guys, that is our guide for today. I hope this has helped you in any way, shape or form. You should be able to get your quest lines done a little bit easier. I wish you the best of luck getting a Red Rebel or some colored key cards. If it's helped, leave us a like. And I'll see you in my next video. Cheers. Some right there. Oh. <laughs> oh, he's just got yeeted. What is up with M80 right now? Why are you aggressive against Sturmy? Because he just moves, moves a lot. Oh, I'm dying. Ah. Rough.